Hey everyone, this is Lucha Joe, and welcome to another edition of Wrestling Headlines Daily News Wrap. Actually, Joey, it's uh, weekly now? Hey everyone, this is Lucha Joe, and welcome to the first ever edition of Wrestling Headlines Weekly News Wrap where we run down all the top stories in the world of professional wrestling. Our top story. This week's episode of WWE Monday Night Raw on the USA Network drew the Red Brand's lowest television ratings in history, with poor scores in the key demographics, hour-by-hour viewership, and total viewership. In an update from TalkSport, the higher-ups at USA are reportedly livid with WWE for their ratings decline, and are rumored to be pushing the promotion for more adult content. WrestleVotes later added on Twitter that those in power in WWE are aware of the record low ratings and hope that next month's Royal Rumble can serve as a reset to build for the future. In the meantime, WWE Chairman Vince McMahon is set to appear on tomorrow's episode of Monday Night Raw, where I'm assuming he'll be doing a three-hour stand-up set. What's the deal with Corona? AEW stars Cody and Brandy Rhodes revealed on this past Wednesday's episode of Dynamite on TNT that they are expecting their first child together after seven years of marriage. Brandy later told People Magazine that her and Cody had always wanted to be parents and thought now to be an appropriate time. The American Nightmare later wrote on Instagram that he was ecstatic at the idea of becoming a father, joking that he hopes his future children carry more traits of their mother. Forget not that Cody has stated in past interviews that he only hopes to wrestle for a few more years, a goal he plans on sticking to. From all of us here at Wrestling Headlines, we'd like to wish a congratulations to Cody and Brandy. We'd also like to present them with this gift. One free coupon for Lucha Joe to dog sit for their dog, Pharaoh. I know it seems like this is an oddly specific coupon, but I swear we've got like thousands of these things. We here at Wrestling Headlines recently conducted an interview with Impact star Chris Bay, where the former X Division champion gave his thoughts on the new AEW Impact crossover promotional feud and listed off some of his dream matchups now that the two companies are working together. Let's listen to what Chris had to say. I think that this is is a great, you know, thing for business. I think that um, whenever we can make that excitement and break that fourth wall, so to speak, and um, just take what everyone thought they knew about the business and switch it up, because this is an era nowadays that is pulled back so far that a lot of the people who have never taken a bump or who have never actually done this feel like uh, they know you know, and, and it's okay to know, but they feel like they really know. And the greatest part about moments like these is that those same people who think they really know, they see this and they go, oh, I didn't know this was going to, I don't know, I didn't know this was possible. If this is happening. I bet this can't happen. And then the next week, that same thing they say can't happen happens. And they're like, whoa, well, I don't know anything, I guess. They start to learn that we can switch it up on them at any time. I think this is great, you know, because it's going to provide a lot of dream scenarios for people and it's going to um, give a lot of people opportunity to be seen on different platforms. You know, a lot of people watch AEW who don't watch Impact. A lot of people watch Impact who don't watch AEW. So this will give um, a lot of different fans someone new to, to, to tune into that they might like or, you know, relate to and then, you know, find their new favorite wrestler who they follow their journey for however long it takes for infinity. But, um, I think it's great. And now we talk about the dream matches. You know, I've seen a lot of people post stuff like they wanted to see me versus Kenny. And then they want to see me versus like the Darby Allen. Or they think because of the charisma through the roof, they want to see me and Ricky Starks. Um, there's one in particular that stands out to me that I need to check off my bucket list personally because it all started a little over a year ago. But I need, for the sake of my story, and for the world, because I know the world will enjoy this one as well. I need Dash and Chris Bay versus Dash and Cody Rhodes. Wow. I don't know about you guys, but that interviewer is super handsome and really good at his job and clearly is not me because he has a beard and I cannot grow facial hair. Something my Lucha friends constantly remind me about on the Lucha forums. NXT is getting their own 
NXT? New reports have surfaced stating that former head of Evolve, Gabe Sapolsky, will be heading a new developmental system for the yellow and black brand in an attempt to give their performance set of recruits more time to hone their skills. This new ideology is apparently the brainchild of Triple H, who originally wanted a minor league system for talent to tour and work crowds, something that has recently become impossible due to the COVID-19 pandemic. The new plan is for NXT's NXT to have its own TV show. However, at this time a launch date for said series has yet to be determined. If history serves us correct, this developmental brand for an already established developmental brand will one day get its own developmental brand, thus completing this cycle of lunacy and confirming at some point that we are all being incepted. Impact Wrestling has announced that AEW World Champion Kenny Omega will be competing at the January 16th Hard to Kill pay-per-view. The Cleaner will be joining forces with his old buddies, the Good Brothers, to take on Impact World Champion Rich Swan and the Motor City Machine Guns. You know how in a movie, when two friends get into a fight in act one, then they both go off and become like super successful doing everything their own way and not holding one ounce of that previous friendship, but then in the final act, they say to hell with it, I love my friend and I want to reconcile? Right, well this doesn't relate to that in any way and this match is going to rule. This concludes another edition of Wrestling Headlines Weekly News Wrap. Continue to follow along with all of our coverage at WrestlingHeadlines.com or subscribe to our YouTube channel, Wrestling Headlines. I'm Lucha Joe, and here is an excerpt from my dream journal. Drowning. Gasping for air. I walk along the beach and see a lone crab. Why does he stare at me? I break the crab's face. Hit him with a plancha. Put him in an ankle lock. When I awake, I've realized that the crab was me.